I have fur on my face, probably. Not my fur. My dog's fur. I haven't got a mirror. Oh well, just have to deal with it. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So we're back with uh, our favourites. It's the 7th of the month, so it's still in the first week. It counts. My voice just went really weird there. Um, yeah, so it's March favourites. Um, so you guys know what favourites are, so... I don't need to explain it, let's just get into the video. Okay, I have a lot of entertainment favourites, but we'll start with like the physical stuff first, the beauty stuff, because that fits in with this channel. So the first one I have is the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer. I have the shade, wow, well, dropped it. I have the shade Fair Rose. It is ridiculously light and bear in mind, I'm very pale, so just keep in mind these shades go really light I feel like I should have got light instead of fair so I'm likely to repurchase this so I'm gonna get a shade up this is really good it's meant to be a good dupe for sharp for sharp really for tart shape tape I try to put tart and sh shape together and um, it has a really big applicator like it's huge so like getting under your eye like you cover a lot of ground very easily um, and it's a really good size concealer actually. How much is in this? I don't know if it's gonna say, no, it doesn't say on here. There's a minimal writing on this. It'll say somewhere on the packaging, which I don't have, because I don't know many people who keep the packaging for the makeup and keeps the makeup in the packaging, but. It has a really, really good shade range. Like I said before, this is too pale for me and I am very pale naturally. So it goes from really, really pale to really dark, I wanna say. It's got a good shade range. Um, I can't, I can't remember how many shades there are. Shall I Google it? Okay, there's 18 shades. There's like three for each category. There's three fair, three light, three medium, three tan, three deep, and three rich. So it goes from really light to really dark. Like the darkest concealer is really dark on here. Um, I have a feeling I need to get light sand or light peach. It's got 18 shades. Um, like I said, three like three different tones so there's like a warm a cool and a neutral for each category Um i really like this it. it's not too thick it's got really good coverage it's a really good price it's only five pounds so i recommend giving this a try okay next is kind of like a mishmash of products they're not new products in the market they're also not new products to me i've had these for a while but the combination has been a favourite of mine. So um, if you follow me and you've seen my Project Pan videos, you see I am trying to pan the Makeup Academy Undress Your Skin Highlighter in Iridescent Gold. Um, I'm gonna do a quick swatch of this. It has got like no base colour. Well, it's got, well, it's got a white base colour, but it's not like really obvious. You can't tell much when it's on. And then it's got a real yellowy gold um, shift. I've not got this like everywhere. And then we also have over the, what I would put over the top is the Revolution Pearl Light Loose Highlighter in Pete's, Pete's? No, Peach Champagne. This is a loose highlighter. Um, so I'll just get like, oh, that is lots. I've just got out here accidentally. Right, I'm going to show you them separately and then what it looks like one over the other. Okay, so on this side is the Makeup Academy Gold and on this side is the Revolution Pink. And then on top of one another, like this is the pink over the gold. The pink takes away the harshness of the gold and the gold takes away the harshness of the pink. You know, that that's very gold, that's very pink. But then over the top of each other, it makes the perfect skin-like sheen. And it's like a, a skin colour and it's just like gorgeous. I absolutely love it. I don't know why I'm holding my hands like this, but I, I love it. Yeah, so these two together just make such a wearable colour. It is more gold based, but obviously you put more pink over the top. I mean more pink, but it just takes like the harshness out of the colours. So it's not like just gold or pink, it's like a gold tone like a pinky gold tone but it looks more like it's your skin like it's a natural color 
because your skin's not really gonna glow bright pink, is it? Like if you have natural healthy skin, this looks more like a healthy, oh, pardon me. This looks more like a healthy glow. It looks a lot more natural. I still have some kind of fluff or hair on my nose and it's driving me crazy. But yeah, it's really pretty. I love the combination. I just captured it accidentally. And now that's what I'm using every day. Obviously I use this because I'm trying to pan it, but now I use that on top of it as well. So yeah. Okay, the last physical thing I have here is this Avon perfume in little black dress. This is one of their cult scents. I want to say it's like one of their most well-known, probably like the best seller. There are dogs barking so loudly, like a small yappy dog. Now I love small dogs. My dog is small and um, known as like a toy breed, but he is not yappy. He's not high pitched. This is like a chihuahua barking. Can it stop? Apparently not. We're just gonna continue. This fragrance. I mean, it's called Little Black Dress, and to me that's what it smells like. And I don't mean generic evening. What I mean is, you have your little black dress, which goes with every occasion. This is the perfume version of the Little Black Dress. Like literally, it is just the perfect fragrance for any occasion. It smells like an evening, going out type of fragrance, and it's just like the kind of smell that every girl needs in her fragrance collection. Like a little black dress is what every girl needs in her wardrobe. It just, it's so good. And it's so like affordable. I got this for one penny because it was on the penny sale. And this is 30 mils. So not bad, I have to say. Okay, I have, in my mouth. I have one song that I have loved. There was someone stomping up the stairs. Hello. Okay. Um, yeah, I have one song that I have been loving this month, and it's been it was I in it was stuck in my head for a solid four or five days on repeat, and it is the song Seventeen from Heather's. But when it was sung in Riverdale, the episode Big Fun, they did Heather's the musical in the show, and um, well in the episode, and. Cole Sprouse and Lily Reinhardt or Juggy and Betty they sung 17 I love it it's so good it's just so good and Cole's voice if that is actually him singing he's got a great voice and we all know Lily does have a good voice because she sang a fair few times in Riverdale so far but Cole we have not heard sing his voice is beautiful I love it Um. okay I have one two three, four series that I love this month. So let's get into them. That's not even all the series that I've watched this month. There's like one that I was like, eh, whatever. Um, okay, so the first one, which I watched this month, this is kind of going in order because I've written them down as I was going. So the first one is the show Sex Education. That only has one season on Netflix so far. It's fairly new out and it's a show set in England so I love it obviously because I'm British in case you couldn't tell and it's a show about sex education and well not about sex education but like it's very heavily uh, like the sex education and sex is a very heavy topic in the show and it is honestly so funny I can't even tell you you just have to watch it if you've got it on Netflix um, the next show is The Umbrella Academy. Um, again, only has one season. I don't know why I keep reading this as if i am got notes. I don't. Again, it only has one season. It's fairly new out. So if you didn't know, um, Umbrella Academy is a comic book series that was written by Gerard Way from My Chemical Romance. That's what he started doing after they broke up. Um, I know, it still gets us all. Even, these, even however many years later, I can't remember how many years it's been gets me um yeah so that was made into a netflix series and i really liked it um i love ellen page and everything she's in and for the first time i actually hated one of her characters <laughs> and i've never hated an ellen page character in my life 
whether it be a TV show, movie, or even a game, because um, I love her in Beyond Two Souls, I hated her character the whole way through, especially towards the end. I was just like, are you kidding me? You are so annoying. <laughs> but it was, I realized that I know it's had a fair amount of like negative and positive reviews. Like it's, I'd say it's 50-50 of people who like it and it or don't like it. And um, I personally didn't like it. So yeah, just, that was, that was a really good series. Um, okay, the next one. So those two were only two series long. I also watched, um, sorry, both of those series were only one series season long. I watched another series which was the Sabrina series, the new one, like the dark, mysterious Sabrina. Um, again, only one season long. Didn't really like it. I watched the whole thing, but I wasn't loving it to be completely honest. So it's not a favourite this month, but I just thought I'd let you know that I watched it. Um, okay, the next one is a series of unfortunate events. I love the original movie with Jim Carrey, but my god, I really like Neil Patrick Harris as Count Olaf, and I kind of decide who I prefer. I think I'm kind of leaning more towards Neil Patrick Harris, but I feel like that's partly because you see more of him as the character playing the role. Jim Carrey only has one movie in it, so he's got like, what, an hour and a half to two hours of playing Count Olaf. That's all you get to see of him as Count Olaf. Thank you. Whereas Neil Patrick Harris has three whole seasons, so... I just, I really liked, I love Neil Patrick Harris again in everything he does. I think he's really talented, um, so I really liked him in this. And I have completely forgotten who the guy is who plays Lemmy Snicket, but I love him. He's a really good voice actor. And I've completely forgotten what it's called. I'm going to have to Google it. Give me a second. Patrick Warburton. That's him. So he was in Rules of Engagement, um, if you didn't know. Um, he was also the um, voice actor who did Kronk in Emperor's New Groove, if you didn't know. And he's done a lot. He's done a fair few voices like that. I think he's done one voice in the Skylanders game on PS3 when that came out. I have that game. And I'm pretty sure he's an actor, in, like a voice actor in that. But I can't remember what the character is. Um, but I think he's a great voice actor, um, so I loved him too. And the last season, the last series that I watched is my favourite out of all of them. I watched Teen Wolf. I know, I know, can you believe it took me so long to watch it? My friend used to watch it as it was still going on when we were like young teens. And she loved Dylan O'Brien. He was her favourite and he's my favourite too. I love Styles. He's sarcastic and witty is totally my type. I just love his humour. Um, and she was constantly going on about it then but I never watched it. And I had nothing to watch on YouTube and I was going through my net, like my list on Netflix and I was like, okay, let's just watch Teen Wolf. Let's just see what happens. I love supernatural stuff. I loved it. I watched it in six days. Can you believe? Like, can you really not believe me at this point? I mean, the rest of the things I watched, however many seasons there are in something, I usually watch them in that amount of days. There's got one season, I watch it in one day. Three seasons, three days. Six seasons, six days. That's generally how things happen. Yeah, I really liked it. And yes, Dylan is my favourite, but oh my god, I also... So Styles is my absolute fave. Then I love Derek. Okay, Tyler Hochin or however you pronounce his last name. Love, my god, he's gorgeous. But I also really like the actor who plays Peter. Ian Bowen, I want to say his name is. Love him. I love Peter as a character. Um, I love bad guys who are kind of like, not really bad bad guys who are constantly bad. But I love bad guys who are like, just kind of become neutral and end up helping out at some point like he's basically like Klaus and I love Klaus from Vampire Diaries so love Peter um okay that's all I have for my favorites this month let me know your favorites which can be anything food music tv shows movies makeup skincare anything let me know your favorites down below and I will catch you in the next video bye